guys welcome back to versatile knowledge so this is a quick update on the status of my lg g8 x think so i had ordered the lg g8 x think uh, in the flipkart's big billion day sale for around 21,990, and i had planned a lot of videos on lg g8 x think so i got the phone delivered in the month of october itself in the last week of october and i had even made a couple of videos on the lg g8 x think the first impressions video and i had done the charger video and also the tips and tricks videos and more videos on the lg g8 x think was actually planned on my channel and one small accident happened with this device because of which the glass in the front has been shattered and the back glass also has been broken so this is the front glass that i showed uh, in the introduction of this video and also this is the back glass which has a small crack in the middle so i have to get both the glass that is the front glass and the back glass replaced so this is the screen which costs a lot and also the back glass will cost a lot so this is the status of my lg g8 x think currently i was going somewhere walking in the road and i did not have a tempered glass or a back case on the LG G8X Think uh, nor I was using the dual screen case that has been provided with the smartphone and I was holding the phone in my left hand and suddenly few children who were playing near me uh, accidentally dashed me and since I was not holding the phone tightly in my hand the phone just fell down on a stone tiles the flooring had stone tiles and it was just a simple fall guys it did not even fell from uh, this distance or a higher distance it just fell from the uh, waist height guys and the status of the phone is just like this right now as you can see this is the status of the phone it has got a large crack over here on this surface and if you guys just don't know the front glass is protected by the Corning Gorilla Glass 6 and the back glass is protected by the Corning Gorilla Glass 5 this is my first phone which has actually broken guys I used tempered glass and back case on almost all my devices but I was not using on that particular day and it turned out to be a really bad day and it just broke and this is the status of the phone right now and it is looking very bad since the front glass is shattered if I start using this phone uh, with the shattered glass it might damage the display the touch screen and also the uh, front fingerprint scanner as well so that's why what i'm doing is i'm not currently using this phone guys uh, i have switched my primary sim to my realme x3 and my lg g8 x think i'll be giving it to uh, you know replacement for the glass guys right now so what is one important learning that i've got is no matter what gorilla glass or ceramic shield or whatever is present on the uh, front display or on the back side of your smartphone it feels really premium to hold in your hand it feels really good to uh, hold when you are gaming or when you are doing something but if it drops it gets shattered as Zach from Generic Everything says glass is glass and glass breaks so that is what has happened with me I can feel that uh, shattering that has happened on the front over here the sharp edges I can feel on my fingers over here that's why I'm not even using the phone I have kept it uh, somewhere side one important learning that you guys need to know from this experience is this is not a drop test or something that I've done purposefully this is just an accidental uh, thing that happened that to not with uh, something that I have done so I was just holding the phone in my hand like this and a few kids came from behind and they dashed me and my and the phone just fell down and because of which this has happened so what is the learning that we all need to know is no matter which device you are using the front is protected by the glass some phones might have plastic back or uh, uh, you know it might have a metal back but uh, in those conditions as well it is very very important to have a tempered glass and a back case on your devices because it is your hard-earned money that you have put on your device it is not at all good to uh, take risks with your device it is very important to have a back case a very good quality back case and a very good quality tempered glass on your front surface if i had a tempered glass that day maybe the tempered glass would have taken the shock and the glass on the front would have been not shattered and also i wanted to take this video to explain about how these glass phones became popular during the previous days the smartphones were made of metal so back was metal or at least plastic was used uh, and glass was used in the front which was protected by gorilla glass 3 4 5 6 and now uh, gorilla glass victors have come but when apple released the iphone 4 they used glass as the back material so what it was pitched during the apple's presentation or during those years was glass is a material which feels really premium to hold in the hand which is actually true the sides will be made of uh, aluminium or stainless steel and the back will be made up of glass including the front uh, which also obviously will be made up of glass since the material is glass at the back uh, it is actually very good to hold in the hand and it feels really premium so that premium category or the premiumness was associated with glass backs so devices which had a glass back that means premium was the understanding that people got to have in the years to come so because of which the smartphone companies uh, such as samsung lg and a lot more devices started using glass as the back covering uh, for the smartphones so currently this phone has gorilla glass 5 on the back and gorilla glass 6 on the front but most of the devices that you guys have or that you guys 
used these days including the mid-range phones have a Gorilla Glass 5 and Gorilla Glass 5 on back and front. For example, the Realme X3, X3 Super Zoom, X2 Pro and many other smartphones guys like the Redmi Note 7 Pro, uh, Redmi Note 8 Pro, Redmi Note 9 Pro, Redmi Note 9 Pro Max and multiple devices in the market that is available right now has a Gorilla Glass 5 at the back and Gorilla Glass 5 at the front. Glass is actually something that feels really premium to hold in the hand but it is not something that is shatterproof. No matter what Gorilla Glass uh, level that the smartphone company is using, 3, 4, 5, 6, Victus, Ceramic Shield, whatever, the testing that companies do is in actually laboratory tested conditions. They'll not do testing for real life scenarios. The similar thing works for the IP resistance as well, guys. I've done a separate video about what is IP68 uh, water and dust resistance and how does that work in real life scenarios. And in that video as well, I've explained that these conditions will actually be done in laboratory conditions. That means that will not match the real life scenarios what might accidentally happen in real life the companies will not be able to predict during their testing scenarios this particular condition company would not have tested it was just an accidental drop that happened on a stone based tile surface because of which just phone shattered into uh, you know very bad condition if the surface that you're dropping is something a soft surface or if it is a flat tile or something the device may survive you can't even predict the device will survive or not so one important learning that everyone need to know is you must get a tempered glass and a back case for all your devices no matter which device you are owning i'll be actually giving links of a few tempered glass screen protectors and back case for the lg g8x think do check out the links in the description guys and also uh, i'll be giving a link to a video which has been done by another youtuber where he explains about uh, you know the screen protector for all the sides which includes the screen protector for the dual screen case as well so this is the dual screen case and this is the phone so the link for that video will also be provided in the description so that's it for this video guys please hit the like button share this video with your friends and subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for more videos once i get this the front glass and the back glass replaced i'll be resuming the videos on the lg g8x think so thank you for watching guys